All right, this tutorial will be showing you how to use uh, batch tools. There are a couple of different types of batch tools, um, but one that was introduced, one kind of format that was introduced in 2020 looks like this. So this is the main page for the tool. And you're gonna wanna click on load CSV. And below here, you'll see um, the different fields that are in the CSV template and what they are. So you'll want to download the template right here. So click on that, download the template and enter your data into it. Uh, I've already done this. So you can see here, I've saved it as an Excel file and then saved as a CSV. And the CSV is what we're gonna upload. I've deliberately included a couple different types of error in this upload so you can see how the um, bulk loading tool handle, handles those errors. So I'm going to browse and then I will click on my CSV. Hit open and click upload this file. Now you see here, I'm getting an error message and we can kind of look at this error me message to figure out what might be the problem. And so we'll take a look at this data and see if we can find that in the spreadsheet. And I'm gonna open up the Excel file and make those edits. That's just so that my date formats don't get messed up. And we can see right here that this, let's see, this error, let me go back to this error message. All right, it says error null value and column condition. So we can see here that condition, which is a column that has to have a value, it's a required column, doesn't have a value. So I'm going to enter the value there save, save as CSV. Okay, so now we fixed that one error. We can go back to the batch tool. Close CSV again and upload the CSV again. All right, so now the CSV is uploaded because we fixed the error where we didn't have a value in the required column. So now we can hit, click review and load. So now we're back at the main page for this tool. And we can see below. Here's our data right here. It hasn't been uploaded yet. We have to review it first. So I'm going to click review. Take a look really quick. There's an error here, but I'm gonna pretend I've missed this error. And so I'm going to, so to get this data to load to the database, we have to change this status to auto load. So we click this button here, really convenient. It will check everything. And I'll enter auto load into this status box. And we can click here to change status for all of the checked values. So this, this status column, auto load is the value that will make it load to Arctos. But we can put anything in the status column so if I wanted to split this data set into a couple of different things, or if I noticed some errors in a few lines and I wanted to separate those data lines out, I can 
uncheck a couple things, um, auto load the rest of it. I can change the status to um, say, look at this data later and it will stay in there um, with that status and it won't load yet. But for right now, we're just going to auto load. So change status to the above value. So, and we're going to go back to review and load. So this is our data in here with auto load count nine. So because it's still here, that means it hasn't actually loaded yet. So I'm going to refresh and we can see it's still got two left to load and it's found an error in one. And if you have a larger data set, this might take a while. So you can go do something else um, and come back to this window later, refresh it, um, see how much of your data is loaded. So now all of the rest of our data is loaded except for this one row, which has an invalid determiner. So now I'm going to get a CSV, which will have the data that didn't load. And oh, here is the invalid determiner. I'm going to fix the spelling error. And you can see this is still the template format. I can I'm going to delete these two columns, the status and the username. And last yes. And key. And I'm going to go back here to load CSV. Great. So we've still got all those columns in there. Now I will save this as a CSV. All right, so now we have our corrected data saved as a CSV, and we should be able to load this the same way that we loaded the first batch of data. All right, so, oh yes, and we are going to delete this invalid determiner data. So here's the new corrected data that we've uploaded. We'll go to review, check and change status to auto load and change status. Now we can go back to review and load and we can see it's been marked to auto load. Refresh. And it's taking a minute. Normally it doesn't take this long to load a single record. And now we see that it's disappeared. So that means it has loaded without any errors.